Hey guys, how's it going? I'm David. I'm the editor of Live Outdoors. We're here at the Outdoor Retailers Convention in Salt Lake City. This is one of the biggest conventions in the country. There's over 1,500 exhibitors and 30,000 attendees. We're here right now at the Outdoor Demo. We're outside. It's warm. We're checking out the paddle boards and all the cool stuff. We're going to take a walk around and show you guys what's going on. See you soon. We're here with Travis Bain with Current Drives. You've got such a cool paddle board. I stopped by because you got a motor on this thing. I never seen anything like it. Tell me about it. Yeah, so it's an electric conversion kit for stand-up paddle boards, and it'll fit into any standard fin box on a paddle board, or we have a conversion kit for kayaks and rafts and things like that. And it's something that you can do yourself, or do you have to have, you have to pay someone to do it? To, to do install the, it. To install it? No, yeah, you can do it yourself. You can Never. use any adhesive with it. Um, and then, yeah, like 80, 90% of the boards just come with the box anyways that you can just clip in there. And how fast does it go, and how long will it last? So it goes up to about five miles an hour, and depending on your speed, you can usually get about three to five hours out of it. Well, yeah. thanks so much, Travis. I yeah. really appreciate your time. Thank you very and much. And we'll look for you guys in the future. All right, appreciate it. Thank okay. you. All right, hey, guys. We're here with the Yeti guys. We're visiting with Alex Bears. What do you got to, to show us here today, Alex? So we got the Hopper 20, which is a, a product that we launched a few months ago. Hopper 20, the small brother or the little brother to the Hopper 30, which we launched last year. Uh, leak proof, so 100% leak proof, cooler really the only one in the market at this point. Uh, tough as nails, holds ice for days. So a couple of really cool things about this cooler. Wait a minute, holds ice for days, you're holds saying? Holds ice for days, yeah. Wow, no, no, no melting at all. A little melting? A little bit melt, a little bit of melt, but uh, yeah, overall you can have ice in here and then after a few days you'll still actually see some, uh, some ice, some solid ice in there. Well, very good. Well, thank yeah. you very much, Alex. I really appreciate it. Very cool, very cool cooler. Thank you. We're here at the BioLite station with Will Morrison. These are such cool camp stoves. They're so hot. Will, tell us. Look at that. Watch yourself. Tell us about these stoves and how great they are. So, yes, I'm, I'm Will. I haven't met you yet, by the way. <laughs> right. Hi, Will. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, I just climbed out of the lake. It's so hot over here. We're cooking on the BioLite camp stove. It's a stove that's for cooking, and it also produces electricity by taking some of the waste heat from the wood fire you're burning and using a thermoelectric generator. We power a USB. This stove burns 60% cleaner than an open wood fire. And as long as you keep feeding it wood, it keeps powering the USB. Right now we're charging somebody's phone. I don't know who's, but. Uh. And this is generally just gonna get a lot hotter than even a small wood fire that was enclosed like that? It does get hotter for a couple of reasons. One, as it draws the air into the uh, generator, it cools, it heats the air up, cooling off the generator, making the generator more efficient, with the air a little bit warmed. It goes into the first stage of the firebox and it gets heated by the internal combustion chamber and as the air travels up and then it finally comes into the combustion chamber, it's very hot, mixes with the wood gas and, and burns really clean, really hot, directed right at the bottom of whatever you're cooking with so it efficiently uses the heat. I think it's neat. I, I, I'm really, I'd love to get out there and try it. Absolutely. All right, thanks a lot, Will. I really appreciate it. Thank All you. Right, good luck to you guys. Here with Nick with uh, Cocopelle Raft. Yep. And show me, tell me about your cool products here, Nick. Uh, basically, we have a uh, five to 10 pound pack raft um, that's designed to get up into the back country. Um, we've also been using them for white water and then also doing some flat water stuff. So kind of a broad range of uh, boats but uh, basically the concept being that they pack up tight like like a sleeping bag um, and they're lightweight. But these are great for getting out there I mean this is the ultimate adventure to put something on your back that you can inflate and get down a river and and get out there and get cool and and make up time. Yeah I mean the, <laughs> <laughs> the best part of it is you know I mean there's no pump that you're carrying with it. We inflate with an inflation bag, and people are starting to get out and do trips that normally you couldn't do because you don't have you know, the weight capacity or, or the weight that you're going to be carrying and in. How, how are they? Have you gotten out to test it? I'm sure, right? Uh, yeah, I've been on quite a few pack rafting trips. So, yeah, they're, they're a blast. They're easy to get in. If you've never been in one, you can get in one right away and, and learn to paddle. We're here uh, checking out these cool hammocks by a company called La Siesta. I can't get a cooler name than that. We're here with Jessica and Maximilian. Can you guys tell me about uh, what you guys are showing today? We are showing basically hammocks. Hammocks. Hammocks in a dome. What makes them special hammocks? Well, um, our products all start with the best quality raw materials, and the best quality craftsmanship. So we're called La Siesta, the world of hammocks. We have over 120 different styles, so all different kinds of hammocks for all different tastes. But best quality materials, the best craftsmanship, and a lot of love. We're a family-owned business. So. Cool. You're from Texas? 
How did I guess? Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> That's what happens when you guys. But Lafayette is from Miami, I should correct. All right, all right. <laughs> and so these are very lightweight, I imagine. They roll up pretty tight. Is that something, is that one of the, the characteristics that's popular? Yeah, so they only weigh two pounds, and that's with the suspension inside and everything. So two pounds and a little stuff sack. The smart hooks um, let you set the height. The ropes are pre-knotted, so pretty much you just grab your hammock, you're ready to go. Cool. So. Well, thanks a lot for showing us the products. Where can we find them? So you can find them um, for any of our authorized dealers. We have a dealer lookup on our website, or, of course, you can see all of our products on LaCiesta.com.